Hey y'all, if you're catching this port, you or a replay watcher, please put hashtag TGIF in the comments below. Thank goodness it is Friday, y'all. I decided to come on here and do a little look. I don't know if I'll be able to see comments or not. I'll try to tag a few people. I'm gonna put my link below in case anybody's interested. Well, if it will let me. Done. Okay. And let's see if I can tag a few people. Try to get some people on here to come talk to me. I hope y'all are doing good on this Friday. I feel like it's been forever since I got on here. But the, the thing is, I'm here now. And y'all, I have been doing so much, like, just with the whole fibro thing. And it's just been yuck. It's not been fun at all. So, I decided today that I was just going to get up and do it regardless. So, that is why I'm here. So, just tagging a few more people. Hopefully, some people will hop on and come talk to me. What have y'all been up to? What are y'all plans for the weekend? Because we uh, begged Wes and we are going to eat boiled crawfish tonight. So if anyone is on here, I don't know if I'll be able to see comments. I promise I'm not ignoring you, but I'm here. Okay, so I wanted to do something a little different this time. I'm gonna use my Energizing Vitality Lotion. This stuff, y'all, is amazing. It has some skincare ingredients in it. You spray it on your face and it gives you this really, really pretty glow. You can use this as like a primer and a setting spray also, like besides the whole um, like skincare thing. So I'm gonna put a couple of sprays. It does not take much. It makes your face really, really like glowing. So I wanted to try it underneath my um, 3D Corrector Cream. Cause y'all, if y'all have not tried this stuff right here, I'm obsessed and it takes a lot for me to do, like to say I'm obsessed with something. Um, this is my jam. Like it helps. It's our 3D corrector cream. It helps to cover up like discoloration and redness and everything else. So it kind of evens the skin tone. I'm love, love, loving it. Hey, Christy. Hey, y'all. So somebody tell me, hey, so I can see if I'm seeing comments or not. Because lately I have not been able to be, see, not been able to see comments. So what we're going to do, we're going to do some 3D corrector cream. I am going to put on some eyeshadow primer so it can kind of just sit on there. Um, and actually, I probably should do my eyes first. I hate doing that, but I think I probably will do my eyes first just to make sure I don't get um, like eyeshadow all over my face. I need to get to, oh yeah, I can see comments, awesome. Thank you so much, Christy. Thank you for hopping on. So my newest obsession is our 3D corrector cream. I'm sure y'all have seen all of my uh, makeup pictures. I've been talking like about it like crazy. Um, it has skincare in it. It's actually a tinted moisturizer. So you actually don't have to put on a primer and I haven't been putting on a primer except for my eyes. So we're going to let that sit for a minute. I'll probably go ahead and you do my little devotion. Y'all, this palette is so cool. It's a lipstick palette. You can also use it for blush. I might do that today. Do a little bit of blush out of here. Um, these black shades and stuff, these darker shades and the lighter ones, you can mix together to get a certain, like, whatever you want as far as, like, lipstick goes. So this is super cool. It dries pretty much matte. It goes on creamy and dries matte. I'm loving this. I'm so glad I got it in. And the eyeshadow palette we're going to use today is going to be this one with all the purples. This is my newest one. I'm obsessed. And I want to try to do something like Mardi Gras kind of looking because tomorrow we're going to the Youngsville Mardi Gras Parade. So if y'all have never been, the, the Youngsville Parade is big. And I've only been, I think, one other time. And that was it. I always either end up working or we just don't go. Um... Kylie and I had to bring her to a doctor's appointment this morning, so I'm kind of getting set late. Y'all, we're already on day 17 in my little devotional book called Take Heart. I love this little book. It's so pretty and dainty. 
Hey Lori, so I'm gonna read this first and then we'll get started with my eye makeup and we're gonna do different on my face. I wanna try a bunch of different stuff today. So let's see. Psalms 73, 23 through 26, it says, Yet I am always with you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel and afterward you will take me up into glory. Who do I have in heaven but you? And I desire nothing on earth but you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart, my portion forever. What remains when everything else fails? What do we have left when all has been taken away? Even in the greatest of tragedies, those in Christ are not left empty. Physical things may be taken away. Our health may decline. Our circumstances may change. But when the dust settles, it is God who remains. When we grip onto something that is not meant to last, we are devastated when it's taken away. Too easily, our identity is wrapped up in the things to which we cling. So when when they come, crumble, so do we. And y'all, I have something to tell y'all about this. And that book that I was reading um, that's called Her True Worth kind of had something in the chapter that I just finished about this. I hope I remember to tell y'all because cause, like my brain has been like squirrel. Anyway, sorry. Okay, let's see. But our heart is not meant to be fulfilled by transient things. God did not create us to be satisfied by temporal things, but by his eternal purpose. Even when something, even when everything we cling to fades away, it is God who holds us steady. If our desire is only for him, disappointments will not sway us. Even when our hearts and bodies break, his strength will sustain us. And unlike the objects of this world, whose promise of sustainment fail, the strength of the Lord is everlasting. His grip on us will never cease. His strength will never run out. Is there something on earth that you desire more than God? Surrender is desire. Surrender this desire. We find true contentment when we understand that God is all we need. Even at the end of the day, when we feel as if we've nothing left, as if we have nothing because of Christ, we have everything indeed. Jesus has promised that if we believe in him, he will give us eternal life. Not only this, but he has given us everlasting joy, peace, strength, and so much more. We should not desire anything apart from him because apart from him, we have nothing. God is our portion forever. The prayer says, God, thank you that you are my strength when everything else fails. Forgive me for the times I desire something more than you. Help me to cling, help me cling to you alone and desire only you. You are all that I need. So, whew, I'm tired, y'all. I did not sleep good last night. So, um, what I was reading in that book, um, Her True Worth, and y'all, look, my eyes are watering now because I'm tired. Hey, Miss Bernadette. Hey, Shandra. Look at all my little people hopping on. So, um, I was reading in that book, Her True Worth. It talked about things that, like, prioritizing things. And I don't know about y'all, but like I, there's a lot of times where I don't go straight, like sort my day with devotions or getting in the word or praying or whatever. Hey, Christine, there's times that I don't. And so it says like we need to start asking ourselves, oh, you're welcome, Bernadette. I have another copy right here by me from my, uh, my live last night. Y'all, I did a live on our team page last night about branding. And I really enjoyed doing that. Like, it was it was a good one. Anyway, um, so whenever we, like, we need to start asking ourselves, like, for instance, if I put my business first, I may say, okay, what would happen to me today if I lost every amount of business I had, if no one was watching my lives, if it all went to crap, would I be okay? That's kind of what that devotional was saying. Like, you know that something is an addiction or um, like even positive affirmations. Like, you know, something's an addiction whenever you ask yourself what would happen to you if it was gone tomorrow and you freak out. Like, that is that is something that we need to be like focusing on. It's great to put our business first. We have to support our families and stuff. Like, I'm not saying don't, but just keep your mind. It makes a difference when we start with God. Yes, it's good. Um, Like, keep in mind, though, that even if all of this fails, God's going to be all that we have left. So we need to remember to put him first. And that's just kind of where I've been reading lately, like what I've been reading about. Okay, so first I'm going in with this white color. Y'all know I like to kind of just balance it all out. Add me some powder. 
Y'all, I washed my hair with our shampoo and conditioner last night, and it is so silky. Look how shiny my hair is. That stuff is amazing. I straightened it. That's why it's all flat, but look at the shine, y'all. I can't believe it. It's amazing, and it smells like coconut, and then they have the, we have this spray, and it smells amazing. It doesn't smell like the coconut. It smells different, but I love, love, love that smell. So y'all need to, if y'all have trouble, like with your hair growing or breaking off or whatever, let me know and I can get you some education like on all of our hair stuff because we have some amazing things. Okay, so what I think I'm going to start with, and I'm debating, I think we're going to start with this purple right here. And we're going to kind of go from there and see what we're doing. Y'all, I never practice these looks before I do them. I kind of just go by the seat of my pants. Oh, I'm tired, y'all. I keep yawning and yawning and yawning. Okay. And then this is my little brush switch. I'm going to do us a purple eye look. Are y'all doing anything this weekend for Marty Girl? Wes and I and... Wes Sean's working, but Wes and I and Kylie and uh, Jax are going to go eat boiled crawfish tonight at... Yes, we do. I can't sing the praises enough on the hair care line. I know, girl. That stuff is, like, amazing, and it's so concentrated. Like, it doesn't look like a real big, uh, yeah, definitely fly by the seat of my pants. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's not. Um, about, what was I talking about? Oh, I'm, like, such a, like, squirrel. Um, oh, crawfish. So, I had begged Wes last night, like, can we please go eat ball crawfish? I haven't had any this season, y'all. Staying warm, cooking gumbo. That don't sound too bad. But I've been craving crawfish. Like, I see everybody posting these pictures, and I'm like, mm-mm, I need some. And I love Louisiana crawfish time because they have, like, boudin boiled in their crawfish boil, and it is so good. And their, their seasoning is really, really good, too. So, we're going to go. I think it opens around 4.30. We're going to go around 4.30. Hey, Miss Javita. Hey, everybody. I am doing, like, a purple eye look. All your grandbabies this weekend, all eat at one time. You'll need an extra body for it. Girl, I know. Girl, get you some of our uh, our life supplements and see which one you need to get more energy. I'm about to start those. I probably will do a live on those. Um, Louisiana Crawfish Time is in Lafayette on Verat School Road. Um, I want to do a live on all my supplements because I'm about to start taking them. Like I had said I was going to say start today, but I'll start tomorrow because I didn't sleep good last night. We were kind of in a rush to get to Kylie's doctor appointment. You have them and you love them. Which ones are your favorite, Miss Jovita? I don't have all of them. I have the balance, which is supposed to be good for like hormones. I have the body, which is for weight loss. I have the skin tonic, which is the collagen. And then I have the nighttime supplement. That I'm anxious to try. I'm probably going to try that tonight because I have been not, I have not been sleeping good. I used to take the like melatonin with, it was extended release melatonin, but I ran out. And so I wanted to try our stuff and see how that worked. Okay. So there's our transition and y'all look at my nose. It always, always turns red. It's crazy. Okay. That's our transition color. Oh, uh, thank you. And also, um, like, it's hard to imagine what your face is going to look like when you do your eyes first. You have soul in mind. I want to get soul. Like, I think soul would probably benefit me. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this darker purple right here. If y'all can see it. And you know what? I think I'm going to take, I'm going to take this brush first. Make sure it's clean. A little flat brush. Just to kind of place, the only two you don't have is the collagen and the hair follicle one. Yes, I got the hair follicle one too. I forgot about that one. That one's in my box right here. Okay, we're going with it a little bit darker, kind of just in the corner, and then we'll blend it out. So just trust the process, y'all. And this may turn out like a total flop. That's why I'm practicing it. I need to go to town and get me a Morty Girl shirt. But y'all, it's supposed to be so cold tomorrow. We're definitely going though because this is Kylie's last uh, 
Mardi Gras parade to, mor to march in with her band of uh, people. So, okay, so we have this kind of place there. I'm gonna get my other brush and we're gonna really, really blend it out. So the last couple of days I've been, I'm not even gonna lie, I've been slacking. This almost, this really looks like a pinker color more than purple, we'll see. Um, which is not a bad thing. I love pink. I've been slacking, like being so lazy. I, it's like my brain is still foggy from my flare up and I just like, I can't get over it. I try to get the words out and I end up saying something stupid. And then I'm tired all the time, like exhausted all the time. So I'm trying to get over that. Okay. Next, let me see what this color is. Oh, that's too red. Um, let me look at these other colors. That's not the right one. Because <clears throat> I really wanted like a purpley. Now this has a lighter purple. Let's see. Let me see what color that is. That's more of a red. This one is purple. So I'm going to add some of this purple right here kind of in the corner, just to kind of darken things up. It's going to be glittery, y'all. But I needed purple. Body Soul Mind Reset. I finished that one. I take Balance Keto Capsules. I just go the nighttime ones I tried last night because I had a steroid shot yesterday and couldn't sleep, so I took it last night. It was about 30 minutes. Huh. Well, I'm definitely going to try that one tonight. And I need to start trying all of them because I have them. Like, I don't know why I'm not trying them. Okay. I think I just need to, like, sit down and figure out what to take when and all that kind of thing. I can't take the, uh, I think it's the mind one. I can't take because it has an ingredient that you can't, you're not supposed to take like with, if you have anxiety, depression meds too. So I have to, I think it's the mind one that I can't take. And that's kind of why I haven't started taking them yet because I want to make sure I can take those with what I'm taking. Because Lord knows I do not need to get off of my anxiety, depression meds. Those, the ones that I'm on actually help with my fibro too, so... Okay, y'all, these shimmery ones are like creamy. I love the consistency of them when you put them on. Okay, so we darken that up. All right, I'm looking kind of cray cray. Just trust the process. We're gonna do like a, uh, let me see what color this is. Oh yeah, we might do that on the lids. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this out. Blend it really, really good. I'm excited to try what I'm gonna do on my face today. I'm gonna try to like place things on there and then blend everything at the same time. A lot of people have been doing that and I've been wanting to try it, but I've been too chicken. So I'm like, okay, well, we'll try today. Y'all, I'm gonna go eat bull crawfish like this. Isn't that funny? Hey, Miss Mary. And y'all, I wanted to tell y'all, our skincare is phenomenal right now. We have like the best bundle. It has seven different products in it. It has like the uh, day cream that I'm obsessed with. It's like 60 something dollars by itself. They have that plus like all the other, uh, they have two masks, a uh, face wash, eye cream. I mean, eye serum. they have like so much in there. If y'all need skincare, like definitely, definitely let me know and I can tell y'all what to get. Because that bundle is $99 and you'll get 10% off if you sign up with me as a VIP customer. So you'll get like $90 of stuff and it's seven different things. Like it's not going to get cheaper than that. Also, we have an amazing bundle going on. It has this eyeshadow palette. I got this bundle. That's how I got this. This eyeshadow palette, the 3D corrector cream I'm going to use. I think it has one of these things that drops that you use for contour and one of our uh, mascaras. So if you need makeup, do it, like get it done. Let me know. 
Okay, on the lid, I'm debating if I wanna go gold or if I wanna go, if I wanna go, um, okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna look like LSU colors. Okay, we're gonna go with this gold right here on the lid. And then I may add some glitter to it, we'll see. Oh yeah, this is super bright, okay. The only thing I wish I had was is a green color because I could have got it to fade in. This is definitely, hey, Miss Dorothy, this is definitely a Mardi Gras look or you could even say an LSU look. This palette has some really pretty colors in it, y'all. Okay. All right, so we have that. Then I'm gonna take this gold. It's like really, really shimmery. We're gonna take that. Let me see, I'll get the eyeshadow off my finger now. Okay, I'm gonna take some of that and tap that on. Here's the gold. It's bright, y'all. It's more of an orange. I thought it would have been more gold, but it looks more orangey. And I'm just ta continuing to tap on that shimmer on there. Okay, let's see if I may have in one of my old palettes, I probably have, I don't even know where that palette is. Did I give it away? Maybe I did. I don't even think I have it anymore. Oh, you know what though? I have, haha, <laughs> I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of palettes right here, some Morphe ones. Let's see if I have a green in one of these. Yup, but that one's kind of bright. Let's see what else I have. We're just playing today, y'all. Mm, this one has a decent green. Okay, we'll use that. All right, y'all. I'm going with this green right here. These are my old Morphe palettes that I haven't I hardly ever used. I could have done a whole look from this because they have some good purples in here. Okay, so what I'll do, I'm going to take this blend this little brush again and i'm just gonna tap some of that green on let me get me a mirror this is like a definitely an impromptu uh live y'all <laughs> just changing it all up okay so i'm gonna tap in a little bit of that i don't even know if it's gonna show though it may not look green these do have a lot of fallout. That's something that I don't love about this. The Morphe ones, I don't love. Those are the best lives. Yeah, I guess. Mine are always impromptu. Like, I hardly ever plan. I should, but I don't. Y'all, I'm going to be so decked out with this. Like, I'm kind of embarrassed to go get crawfish like this. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we did that, and now I'm gonna grab that blending brush again. If I can find it, I don't know what I did with it. I'm a hot mess today, y'all. I am a hot, hot mess. Mela, where'd I put it? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we're blending. <laughs> hey, Francine, I'm doing like a crazy look. I'm trying to do a Mardi Gras look. And I realized we don't, this is supposed to be green, so I'm blending it out, but it's not looking too green. But that's okay. We're going to blend it out. It looks like a darker purple, huh? That's all right. We are going to eat crawfish tonight at Louisiana Crawfish Time, so... I decided to come live and play around with this look. I know it looks purple, huh? 
supposed to be green. I wanted to play with this look because I thought about doing my makeup from Mardi Girl tomorrow. I don't even have a Mardi Girl shirt, y'all. Okay, so that and then let me see if I have a yellow or more yellow color. I have all these little palettes right here. Or big palettes, should I say. That one's gold, but it's not real yellowish. Let me grab the other ones. Oh, I'm like a makeup snob, seriously, an eyeshadow snob. And it didn't just start with with pharmacy and urban retreat. Like I've been, well, there went that. I've been this way for a while. This, oh, this one has a pretty gold. I'm gonna try this gold. Let's see. That one might be a little better where it kind of shows. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I think this is a prettier gold color than what I had. And it kind of tones things down a little bit. Hey, Kareen, y'all, I can't believe I can actually see comments. It's crazy. And then what I'll do is I'll use, and this may come out like, like retorted, like stupid. Yeah, it definitely gives it a shine, that's for sure. And here we go. Okay, so what I may do is I may use a green to line the bottom of my lids, y'all. It's going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm going to go in with my eyebrow uh, thing, and we're going to go with this green. Let's just see what I can do. Oh, you know what? I gotta do the rest of my makeup first before I do this bottom. Okay, oh, I'm lost, y'all. Okay, so today we are gonna try something different. We're gonna do my 3D corrector cream with a concealer and my color drops. And we're gonna do these first. So what I'm gonna do, hot mama, <laughs> What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in with this first. Everybody's kind of been trying this, so I was anxious to try it too. Just putting all this on here. I was about having fun of being crazy, so it'll blend in with the crowd. Oh yeah, it'll burn, it'll blend in all right. Okay, so we're doing this. A little bit more there. And then I'm gonna do this might be a total flop, y'all. I'm going to do some color drops. And then we'll go here, here, here. Ah, it just like popped out of there. I'm, I'm always making a mess with this stuff. Okay, move my hair back. Okay, so we'll blend this in and then I'm gonna go with my foundation. So, what I think I'm gonna do first is blend in the um, the contour color. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, may have, this might be a little cray cray. It's completely different whenever it's on my regular skin. Look how orange I look. <laughs> okay, and I'm trying to stay with it separated a little bit. Dab all this in. So the thing is you want to, you do all of this first and then you go in with your foundation. So like I said, this might be completely nuts and I may go take it all off, but I figured it would be fun to try. I'm just blending, blending, blending. And we'll get even this. Oh, that's fine. That sounds good, Monica. Thank you. 
We just playing around today, y'all, because I really don't know if this is gonna come out good. Blending, blending, blending. Okay, next I'm gonna go with my sponge and we're gonna dab in all of the concealer. I need to make sure I get good around these eyes because I'm sure I have fallout all over the place. Okay. Hey, Heather. Thank y'all for throwing me some hearts. Y'all tell me where y'all are watching from. And show me, give me some hearts if y'all have never tried. Hey, Miss Joanne, if y'all have never tried putting on your makeup like this. I feel like I'm putting everything on backwards. If you've never tried it like this, throw me some hearts. Okay. Thank you, Kareem. Okay, now, I look crazy, huh? So now we're gonna grab my 3D corrector cream. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my hand first. Y'all, this stuff is like a whipped mousse. I'm a, seriously obsessed with this. Okay, we're gonna add, dab some in different little places. I may need to maybe start a new trend. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see. I'm just kinda dabbing y'all. Telling y'all, just got the Midtown palette. Girl, yes, I love all of our palettes. I have all three of the big ones, and I'm like so obsessed that I want the rest of them. The 3D Corrector Cream is my fave, my absolute fave. I am from Avoyles Parish, um, towards Marksville in Louisiana. Where are you from, uh, Miss, Miss Bernadette? Everybody always picks at me, uh, picks at me about my accent, which most people say they love it. So I'm not, I'm not mad about it. Okay. Let's blend. Blend all this in. Kaplan, oh, you're not too far from me. And if y'all notice, I'm going up into the, um, Vermilion Parish. Yes, ma'am. I know exactly where are you from whenever I was a hospice nurse. I had to go to Vermilion Parish a lot. <laughs> well, yes, my accent is thick though. So like in Lafayette, it's it's different because a lot of people, you from your mama, you are you are hilarious, girlfriend. Um, so it's different. Like, believe it or not, I know most people are like, oh my gosh, y'all are all from Louisiana, y'all have an accent, blah, blah, blah. But believe it or not, in the state of Louisiana, we have multiple Lafayette Parish in the house. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. Um, we have multiple accents, like even from our state. So like they used to call me a Kunas, like that's where Boyles Parish, that's what they call people. And then like people from Monroe and up north, they would call a redneck. And so, yes, I am a coon ass. And yes, it is. It's like three different accents. So mine is like super, super thick. Um, because I was from a tea tiny town called DuPont, Louisiana. And my mom said that when we first moved there, I went to a friend's house, like a friend of the family. And I came back talking like them, she said, because I was born in Denham Springs. Like that's where my mom and them lived when she was growing up. I still have some family there, but not much. And they have a completely different accent than we do. Okay, so I'm just dabbing the rest of this in, y'all. It came out pretty good. I'm liking it. Once I, uh, once I add all my powders and stuff and finish blending, I'm liking this. I'm, I might have to do this from now on. It's completely different than what I'm used to, though, that's for sure. 
But this way you won't need blush. Well, but I am doing blush because I want to try some of my lipstick palette. Born in Iowa, moved to Oklahoma when I was 22. Oh, that's awesome, girl. That's a long ways from me. Okay. So now we're going to go in with some contour powder, I think. I'll use my little palette. And then, or should I go in with my blush first? Because what I want to do, y'all, is I want to try using, I'm going to knock all this stuff down. I have so much junk right here, y'all. I want to try using our uh, lip sync palette for my blush, this. I'm going to pick one of these to use as my blush. So I probably should do, I don't know, I guess I'll do that after I do my contour. Okay, so I'm taking the contour. Yes, I'm going to use my lip sync uh, palette as blush because I saw someone else do this um, and I wanted to try it. That was part of the reason why I wanted that palette so bad. Oops, wrong one. You just have to remember um, that you don't want to do like cream over powder. And so that's why I'm kind of hesitant doing my, uh, my contour powder first because I'm like, okay, that's going to get powder like on top, maybe, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to be careful with it. Okay, and then, so I'll go here. And y'all, you really don't have to use contour palette, the uh, contour on top of like your, um, your color drops. I just like to, cause I like to set it. And I'm a powder person, like big time. I love me some powder. And that's not always a good thing. Hey, Tara Lynn. Hey, girlfriend. I'm, I'm doing a practice round for What a Girl tomorrow. We are going with some friends. We're going to cook and just hang out. I think Wes and um, my friend's husband are going at like 4.30 to set up so that we'll have a place to go. And then we'll go meet them like a little later. The parade's like not for a while, but it's this huge like party thing. Like everybody's partying early in the morning. It's quite crazy. Why no cream over powder? Never heard that before. Okay. So the reason why is because it's going to kind of like cake up. It could cake up. So that's why you don't want to do a cream over a powder. It doesn't, it, it kind of just like cakes it all up. You always want to do cream first, blend that into your skin and then do powder on top. Okay, so let's try it, y'all. Let's try the lip sync palette. Well, and to be honest, I didn't even do my powder under my eye yet. It's okay, though. Okay, so I think I'm going to try, let me see what color. I think I'm going to try this one. Or do I want to do pink, more pink? I think I'm going to do a little more pink, maybe. I'm going to do this one right here, right there just a little and you can just like dot it on there might need a little bit more on this one oh thanks brooke i actually got these earrings a long long like years ago from jockey lot there was a lady that um that made them and i got a bunch of uh earrings from her okay so now we have that i need to get a brush that i can blend with we're gonna try this one And this is all like practice, y'all. I've never done this with my uh, lip sync palette, my lipstick. But I wanted to try it because it looked really good on other people. So you literally, next time I think what I'll do is I'll put like all of my stuff on. My, um, my contour, my highlight, my blush and everything. I'll do all that and then I'll do my foundation, I think. But y'all, look how pretty that is. It it blends into the skin. Like, it's super, super soft. It's not sticky. I really, really, really like this. Okay. And so, let's do... I mean, look at that. It's, like, perfect. It's, like, a touch of blush on the cheeks. The biggest thing, though, is that you need to blend. And blend well. Y'all think this is, like, good for a Mardi Gras look? I mean, I know it looks kind of pinkish, but it's got the gold, and I think I'm going to go into the bottom with the green. But I 
absolutely, absolutely. You like it? I absolutely love the blush like this. If y'all haven't tried it, y'all need to try it. It just blends really, really pretty. Thank you, Miss Bernadette. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some setting powder. And most people do not do this because, uh, thank you. Most people don't do this because like powder will kind of set in your wrinkles and stuff, but I just have to have powder. I'm just blending this, y'all. I have to have me some powder. I just can't deal without it. Okay, so I'm just taking a sponge. I need to do a makeup live. Now you start. Go ahead, girlfriend. Do it. Do it. The worst that could happen is that it doesn't look good and you'll just know not to do it that way next time. That's the worst that could happen. You like this? This is a, um, it's a foundation sponge. It's by Real Techniques. I got it from Target, but it's made for powder. Like I always like to do my uh, powder under my eyes and on top of my concealer because I find it helps it to stay longer. So I usually kind of just tap it on, but you have to be careful if you have lines and wrinkles there because it will make it settle. And that's not gonna look good. Okay, I'm just kind of blending. Now I'm gonna take a powder brush and kind of just blend all of it in. And a lot of these brushes, y'all, like this, this came from Amazon. Um, a lot of them are from Pharmacy. This brush is from Real Techniques. Real Techniques and um, Urban, Re Urban Retreat. Real Techniques and Eco Tools, like at Walmart and Target and Ulta and all that, these all are great brushes. They're like drugstore brushes, and they're just as good as like the expensive one. This one's a really good brush. And the one with two sides, yeah, this is a Pharmacy brush. I have like a crap ton of Pharmacy brushes because... I wasn't one to wash my brushes often, <laughs> so I would just grab whatever and get fresh ones, and then when they were all dirty, I would do that. Okay, so now I'm going to grab me some, grab me my little uh, illuminating palette, and we're going to put some pink kind of where my blush is on top, and we'll do the white like in the corners of my eyes. I like to use this this brush. But just remember, like, if you use pink, you got to get a little brush switcher thing. They're super cheap. You can get them on Amazon. At any kind of discount stores, they usually have them. Okay, so I'm going first with this, the lighter color. And I'm just going to kind of go mid-face with it. I like our, um, our highlight powder because it's subtle. Like, it's not all creamy. I mean, all uh, glowy, like rural glowy. Okay, the blush. I'm just going over the blush with this one. Very essential brushes, but they're a little pricey. Yeah, I'm a. I'm not an expensive brush girl. I like cheap. <laughs> cheap, cheap, cheap. Now, I do, I did order a new foundation brush. It's a new Kabuki brush for our foundation because I didn't like the way that the one I had for Formacy was working with it. So I did order that, and I do have it. I just haven't used it yet. To be honest, though, y'all, I love our 3D corrector cream so much. Like, to me, like, it's my favorite out of the two. And it's it's literally a tinted moisturizer, but look at the coverage, y'all. Like, it's crazy. And if it's not your exact color, you can still use your um, color drops to blend it in. Okay, so see, just a little bit. Of highlight and that's it that's, that's all we need okay now for the rest of the eyes I'm, I may totally jack this up let me see I have a couple of other palettes let me see what uh, I think this one might be a neutral palette yeah that one doesn't have green and let me pull my other one out yes yeah, so the 3d is definitely always my go-to y'all well, look at this palette I have it's big okay that one does not have green so, we're going to use the green out of this palette to do under my eye. I'm going to go with this one. And I may mess this up, y'all, but I really don't care, to be honest. 
don't care. Okay. So what I'm doing is just going a little under. Almost like an eyeliner. And to be honest, it looks more black than green, but that's okay. Okay, so we got that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, one thing you will always get from me is honesty. Like, even if you don't want it, you'll get it. Like, I don't, I don't mean to be blunt, but sometimes I just am. I promise you it's not like out of any kind of malice or anything ugly. Use the uh, eyeshadow as eye primer. Yeah, I've been doing this for a while. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go just a tad right there and then just kind of dab it in. And then there's our green. What do y'all think? Lord have mercy. I think that let me see. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that like that. Okay, and then I'll take my, um, I need like a light, a white kind of shimmery color. I'll use my, uh, this palette just to do my brow bone and the inside of my, uh, inside of my eye. Cleaning this off again. I'm using that same little brush. Yes, so you know that saying, like, if my mouth doesn't say it, my face surely will. Or like, it's like not my mouth, but it's my face that needs deliverance. That is completely me. Like, that's who I am. <laughs> that is definitely who I am. My face always needs deliverance. Because I make some crazy faces without even realizing it. And we've been wearing masks in the hospital for so long that I don't know what I'm going to do if we ever get to a point where we don't have to wear them. Because... I have to watch my face, y'all. No, you definitely are not alone. My mouth. Whew. My husband used to say, boy, the crap that comes out of your mouth. But he'd say the other word. Okay, so I'm just taking this light color and I'm going on my brow bone. Just to kind of catch the light. That's, that's why I do that. Doing the same thing here. I need to, like, do these brows. They're horrible. I need to get them waxed. That just kind of lightens up and makes it pop. Okay. So, we need, and I just kind of dab this with my finger and blend it. Be careful when you're adding that, um, that shimmer to the inside. Because, remember, whatever you put shimmer on is going to highlight it. So, if I, you like it, I think it's crazy, but thank you. Um, like underneath my eyes and you see my forehead, like just be careful that you don't get, I'll show all your wrinkles. I just couldn't pull it off. So good. <laughs> I know. I think it's a Louisiana thing, period. We all tell it like it is. And it's not like, I don't think most people do it like to be ugly. I think it just kind of comes out. Okay. I like to tap this in because I don't want anything to settle. So I kind of just tap all of that over my little wrinkles in right there. And let's do some eyebrows. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just using this because this is what I have. I'm just gonna brush that on there. We do have an eyebrow uh, pomade, I think, but I, I already have like a ton of eyebrow stuff. So I've decided just to use what I have until it's gone. Because y'all, the reality of it is that we're not going to have every single product from the company that you work with that you're going to absolutely love. And I'm not one to promote things that I don't love. So that's kind of why I'm not the greatest seller. Um... <laughs> Because I'm too honest, y'all. So if I try stuff from another company and I like it more, that's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to just use only Urban Retreat because that's what I sell. Oh, yeah. Very friendly, but also very honest. And the t like Lafayette, which is like the big city near where I live, 
that's like the most like the happiest place like most hospitable place we have so and i've had like a lot of people uh, i hear like that are coming to visit they're always like oh the people from louisiana are so hospitable hospitable like so friendly and Whatever. When we went to New York, y'all, when this was like a few years ago, I took my daughter to New York with my aunt and a couple of friends. And the people from there, y'all, were not friendly. And you you don't realize till you go somewhere like that, that like where we're from, people are really friendly. And I'm one that will normally talk to anybody. I'll talk your head off whether I know you or not. But I do get nervous sometimes whenever it's like I kind of know the people, but I don't really know them well enough to like to know how to take them. Then I get shy. That's about the only time I get shy. Okay. So there's that. Now we're going to do, we need lips and we need mascara. So I'm thinking what mascara I want to use. I think I may... I think I'm going to put some mascara primer on and I'll go with our, um, I can find it. I'll go with our mascara. I just don't know what I did with mine. Y'all, I have brushes and stuff everywhere. Everywhere. I need to clean this up like really bad. I don't know where I put my mascara. Well, I guess we won't be using that one. We'll be using a different one because I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> oh, it's going to drive me nuts. Drive me nuts. But I don't know where I put it. I'm like looking all over. Oh, well, we'll use one that I have already. That I have already opened. Our drivers of core insurance doubled here and... New York folks, well, it's a city full of little countries, but I love New York City shop. Yes, I love New York, but it is a little on the crazy side also. Should I do eyeliner on the top or should I just leave it be and just do some mascara? What do y'all think? Probably should just leave it be because then I feel like I'm not going to be able to see the gold. So that's what I'll do. Yeah, we didn't get to go, Miss Joanne, we didn't get to go to watch any plays. We were there for like four nights and five days. And this was years ago. This was like way before COVID. Um, and it was, we were there for like four nights and five days, I think. But you do just mascara. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Um, but there was so much to see and do. And one day we wanted to go to Chinatown. And so... My aunt chickened out. She didn't come with us. She stayed in the hotel. And y'all, let me tell y'all, when you get to Chinatown, things start looking a little shady. It's kind of scary. So we ended up, this is like a story that's hilarious, but you, it's kind of like you had to be there to think it's funny. So me and my daughter, my friend LaDonna, who is like a bodyguard, like she will guard me. <laughs> And protect me and she don't have no problem dealing with the people but anyway um that was like the one reason why i was like okay with it so they came she came with us and another friend Lindsay, came hey Jax. and uh doing what yeah i'm doing a live you want to say hi hi here's my baby boy he's still in pajamas can i be in here because dad's sleeping and I yeah you can come in, in here that business. you don't want to be in all that business Oh, well, that's okay. Just don't put it on loud. So anyway, we get on the bus, y'all. We get on the train. Turn it down a little. Um, And all oh, they said, hey, cutie. You heard, Jax? What? They said, hey, cutie. Thanks. He said, thanks. I'm just going to be playing my game with Zero okay. Audio. We get lost, y'all. We get on this train. We forever could not figure out that train, okay? We all four get on the train. We go to where we need to go. We spend the day in Chinatown. We witnessed people getting arrested, y'all. It was nuts. They got arrested. They were on every corner trying to sell, like, fake purses and stuff, fake Louis Vuittons and fake Michael Kors and, like, all these things. They were, it was, like, knockoffs or whatever for really cheap. 
What, Jax? Isn't Chinatown like above water? Chinatown is just a town, baby. Oh. Oof, I poked myself. Um, anyway, they're like getting arrested for selling this stuff. And it's like these little shops and you go in and like you ask to see what they have in the back of the store. It's crazy. And you can get like super cheap bags and stuff. They're not real, obviously. They look like it. Some of them look like it. So first we witness um, somebody getting arrested. It was like some Oriental people, some women. They were getting arrested for selling this stuff because it's not, you're not supposed to do that. And so while that's going on, me and my friend LaDonna had gone, like Kylie stayed with my friend Lindsay and they kind of were just walking around looking outside and they witnessed that, okay? Me and my friend LaDonna, our feet were killing us, y'all. We walked like 11 miles every single day that we were there. It was a lot. Like we, <laughs> we sight saw a lot and there was a ton of like miles that we put on our feet. Like I was literally rubbing some uh some like lidocaine icy hot kind of stuff on my feet because they were killing me that's when i had the biggest feet issues like that's what started all of that y'all keep looking down because i'm still looking for my mascara i just don't know what i did with it and it's probably somewhere right here in front of my eyes and i just don't see it but no i'm good baby i'll just use this one um so anyway they get arrested well in the meantime me and my friend Ladonna are in this little back room in a thing it had a sign like to get like massage foot massages or pedicures or whatever i think it was a foot massage we got y'all it was so like scary it was sketchy really sketchy and i'm like oh my god we are gonna go missing nobody's gonna ever find us so it was fine like we did that and then mom, um if you wouldn't weren't missing i would put a full-on investigation mom i'm that i'm dr jacks oh okay um, so we get done with that. And when we go outside, like we find my little girl and my friend Lindsay and they tell us that the people are getting arrested and whatever. And we like, OMG, like, let's get the heck up out of here. And so we get on the train and we end up taking the train the opposite direction that we're supposed to take. And we didn't realize until we started getting into some shady areas, like really shady people are getting on there. And we looked up and we were like almost in the Bronx. And we were completely, we were supposed to be staying in Manhattan, like on Times Square, which is complete like opposite direction. That was so scary. Yes, girl, he protects his mama. He is a mama's boy. He loves me like there ain't no tomorrow. Uh -huh. And his mama will fight for him no matter what. So anyway, we stop at one of the uh, places, like one of the stops with the train, and this guy jumps on, y'all, and I was sitting right next to the door. I think it was me and my aunt, maybe, that were, no, because my aunt didn't come. Me and Lindsay, maybe, I don't remember who was sitting next to me, but they said they watched my face when this man jumped on, like he hops on, and I'm, I think he was homeless, I'm not sure, but he hops on and he's all loud. And he's hollering like, um, he said, I'll take anything to eat. I don't care if you ate off of it or what. But y'all, he was loud and like, it just scared the crap out of me. And they said that they wish they could have had a picture of my face when that man got on there. Because I was like, <laughs> I'm a chicken, y'all. I really am. I'm a chicken. Like, I always freak out. Like, I'm always one that's, like, always on guard. I always know where the exits are when I go somewhere. Like, if something were to happen, it's just, you just never know with people. You can't trust people these days. It's a scary, scary world. And New York, like, that's what I learned when I went to New York. I was like, oh, look what I did, y'all. I was like, I am, like, terrified of people like this. And we were like walking down all these streets and stuff. It's kind of, it reminds me, New York, if you've never been, it reminds me of kind of like what New York, uh, New Orleans used to be. But I hear New Orleans is not like that now. Like it's, it's very, very dangerous. And there's not even, it's like not really even anything to brag about anymore. That's what I hear anyway. I don't know. I haven't been there in years, but that's kind of what, um, it reminded me and my daughter of was, it was kind of like, new orleans but just way bigger we went to um and i think we went in maybe 2018 
we went to the 911 memorial and y'all it's like now it's this huge waterfall and it like makes a square yes new orleans has gotten horrible my friends actually got robbed at gunpoint at a airbnb that was like a safe place like just a few weekends ago so y'all do not go to new orleans <laughs> if you don't have to don't go there it's dangerous and this was like in a good part of town and I know it's like that everywhere, but I just can't imagine like going somewhere like that and not having like my husband or whatever like to protect me. It's crazy, crazy where we live in. And that's why I'm so like worried about Kylie moving to LSU because like she's never been on her own before and Baton Rouge is big and like not real safe. And, but I mean, Lafayette's not really safe. Mascara alone, perfect. Oh, the plays on the Rockefeller. <laughs> yes, we went to the Times Square Church. We just went to take pictures, though. The Brooklyn Tabernacle. Jim Cymbalta is a pastor. So, our old pastor was Pastor Tim Delina, and he's actually in one of the churches in New Orleans. He was phenomenal. Okay, I'm just going to take this little spoolie brush, and we're going to fix this. You, you just have to let it dry and then flake it off. It comes right off, see? And then I think what I'm going to do is take a little bit of setting spray and spray my brush. This is a little trick just to tap in all my little forehead wrinkles and any of this that I feel like I need coverage. But yeah, what y'all think about this? Oh, we still got to do lips too. I almost forgot. Okay, spraying, setting spray. Um... Yeah, so I think we're gonna use, where's my lip sync palette? Right here, we're gonna use this. Let's see what color we are gonna go with. <laughs> I have like a purplish color here. Like this one, but I think I may go with this. So let's see, let me find a lip liner. This is a purple one. We're gonna line the lips. Before I do that though, let me take a towel and wipe off foundation. Pastor Jim, now Pastor's Times Square. He actually has a family history with that church. You talking about Pastor Tim? Or Pastor, I don't know who Pastor Jim is. Ooh, I like this color, y'all. Pastor Tim. Okay, I was wondering, because I'm like, Pastor Tim, yeah, I, he was one of my favorite pastors at OSC. I learned so much. <laughs> Come do your eyes. <laughs> hey, Jeannie. Y'all, I just, like, this is crazy. So, I follow someone on uh, Instagram and Facebook that used to be doing pharmacy and stuff. She's a top leader again over there. And she she's doing like this mastermind class. And I just paid for it and I'm going to do it. I'm so excited. Like, I think this is going to be Grady Van with Jealousy. Yes. That's exactly why I got chosen for that. Um, so, I'm going in with this color. These are so, like, creamy. Okay. That color ain't going to work. We're going to do this darker one.
working. And then I will let it kind of dry for a minute. And we're gonna go in with this white color to lighten it. The boss lady, great. Wait, the boss lady? Oh, no, so it's with um, Ashley. If y'all want details, just message me and I'll tell y'all what it is. But I've been following her for a while on um, Facebook and Instagram. And like she's hit, whenever I was going for founder, like she helped me, like gave me some tips and stuff to get me there. And like, I will forever be grateful for that. Y'all, I'm not loving this lipstick with this these eyes, honestly. I mean, we're going to go with it, but I think I need to use, like, tomorrow, I have, like, a bright purple I can use, or even one this color, maybe. I think I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Let that finish. You love Ashley? Yes. Yeah, so, um, I hope we're talking about the same Ashley. I don't like to, like, put people's names out there, but, um, thank you, Miss Joanne. But I just signed up. She's doing it in March. And I've never done anything like this before. Last night, whenever I did my um, my live, y'all, I'm taking all the little sticky things off. Last night when I did my live on branding, I realized that, okay, like, I'm ready for this. I'm ready to go further, like, with my, um, with my career. Because I want to, like, build up my business. Eventually, my goal would be that... By doing this and getting my business up, I would like to go, um, I'd like to be able to do this full time and just work at the hospital part time, but I'm nowhere near that right now. So that's from my mouth to God's ears, I guess I should say. I'm trying to fix all this. And then two, um, I want to, one of my other goals is to get certified in inner healing. And y'all, I'm just talking while this dries on my lips. I want to get certified in inner healing so that I can give those classes. This is, um, like I, it probably won't happen this year because one of the things you have to go to Ohio. Well, they had one in Lafayette, but that's already passed. Um, is it Ashley wheel Heather? Maybe that's who you're talking about. Oh, you're, I bet you're talking about Ashley, um, Ashley veal. Cause I follow her too. She's amazing. And she's a top leader. I saw her at Sweet Home Alabama with pharmacy. Anyway, so I like wanted. To, I saw this book and it had really good reviews. It's called God Therapy: Seven Step Guide to Inner Healing and Del Deliverance. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna read through this, but I really, really, really want to like save up my money and take the trip to Ohio and get certified because one of my dreams would be to do that in this full time and do. Yeah, it, it's Ashley Veal a bit. And then I would want to work part-time at the hospital. Because, y'all, I have, like, I have fibromyalgia. And there's a lot of times I get exhausted. And I feel like if I could work from home, it would be better. Okay, I'm taking this white color. Now, I don't know what this is going to do, y'all. But we're going to try to lighten it. Yes, I will. And Miss Bernadette, it's actually in my, um, it's actually on my Facebook page. Because I had made a, um, or maybe I did it in stories. Okay, this is lightening it up a little bit. If we really want to lighten it up, I need to get that off of here. Because look what I did, y'all. Look at that white. It's got stuff all in it now. But what you can also do, you can also, when you want to change it, make it lighter, you can take some concealer. It's a little trick for y'all. And get you a brush, which I don't know if I have a clean brush right here I can use, but you know what? I'll use my finger. And get you some concealer and kind of just dab it. And there you go. What do y'all think? I 
I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Now I need to go to town and find me a Mardi Gras shirt. That's what I need to do. So that's probably what I'm going to go do. But y'all, let me know if y'all need color matching. Thank you. If y'all need color matching, um, I am going to eat more crawfish like this, y'all. I better get me some gloves, though, because my fingers are going to be on fire. Let me know if y'all need help color matching. The yellow, um, so I don't know, like, let me see. I would maybe use the yellow on top of something, like, to mix it. Like, if you wanted more of, like, an orangey, or they have orange, but if you wanted to, like, make this kind of reddish orange, I guess, I don't know. Um, I don't know, we'll have to try it and see. I know, I think this one is, yeah, this one's shimmery, and some people use it here. The little white uh, shimmer. Some people use it in the corner of their eye like that. Thank you. So it just kind of blends right there. Anyway, well, I love y'all. Hey, Harley, I'm hopping off. Look at my Mardi Gras look. I got purple and gold and then green on the bottom. Um, I'm going to hop off now. I need to run to town to find me a Mardi Gras shirt. And then we're going to eat ball crawfish tonight. So I'm like so excited for that. And I need to get some stuff done. I really need to get into back into my Bible. I want to do this. Um, I have this. Thank you, Horley. Y'all should come meet us at the parade tomorrow, Horley. Do you work? Y'all need to come meet us. Y'all look, my crowns are here. Y'all know I got my crown story that one day I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to be brave enough to tell y'all one day. Isn't it pretty, though? I love it. Yeah. So, um, I want to get started with this. I bought this Bible recap book, and it goes chapter by chapter to read the Bible, like in a, um, you don't like what, crawfish? Oh, my goodness. This goes chapter by chapter. I want to read it this year, like the whole Bible. Going to the one in Baton Rouge and Port Allen. Oh, I wish I could see y'all. I still have your Christmas present. <laughs> And I think I have Rylan's too. Anyway. All right. Well, I love y'all. Y'all let me know if y'all need skincare. We have a great package for that. A great bundle for that. If we y'all need makeup. I'm telling y'all this 3D corrector cream is where it's at. Look at that coverage. And then two, you also need to get this lipstick palette. Because you can use it as lips and blush. See? Isn't that neat? So, let me know if I can help y'all in any way. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.